how to use a yarn swift and ball winder. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. I'm so excited. Today we are going to learn how to use what's called a yarn swift and a ball winder. Now I did purchase both of these items at my local yarn store. However, you don't need to purchase it yourself. I will have links below if you'd like to, but you can actually use both of these at your local yarn store with confidence. Now why would you need to do it? We're used to the balls of yarn that we can knit directly from. However, if you find some yarn that you just fall in love with and it's in this sort of skein, um, if you start just trying to knit directly from it, trust me, it's happened to me when I first started knitting, it will just become this wild jumble of a mess. So you definitely want to take yarn in this shape, turn it into a ball. So let's get started. So here we have our yarn swift. Now we just attach it to a table. There we go. We take our yummy yarn and we just sort of twist it open. There we go. And it's going to come out in this lovely ring. It's attached by these little loops. So you just have to sort of find the loops and take your scissors and simply cut them off. You keep going around. And here's our last one. This one actually has the tag. And I'm going to keep the tag. Um, I'll show you why once we're done. And we just go ahead and cut this bit off right here. Okay, so now it's time to put it on our yarn swift. We simply put it over. Here, we're going to bring it up. It's like an umbrella. Woo, okay. Just right there. You don't have to have it on too tightly, just so that it's around the sides. Okay, now we have our yarn on our yarn swift. We are going to find one of the ends. And we're just going to sort of make sure that the yarn isn't too twisted here. And now it's time to attach our ball winder. It's this little plastic guy right here. And it also just attaches to your table. We'll just put it right there. And this red knob is what helps keep it in place. So then we have this little arm right here. We bring them up and pull them out to lock them in place. Okay, so we have our yarn end. It is time to get winding. We are going to take the yarn end right on over here to our winder and attach it right in this area. Okay, we are just threading this yarn, pulled our yarn tautly right here, and with this, we are just going to turn it clockwise. All right, here we go. All right, and we just keep winding at a nice, steady pace, and the yarn is just automatically turning that yarn swift for us as we go ahead and turn our crank right here. Our ball is being formed and we are doing great. Sometimes your yarn as it's coming off the swift, it might be um, not quite on the edge here. It might be tucked a little bit inside. So don't worry, just have a little bit of patience. Um, if you need to stop at any time to just kind of see what's going on right here. Okay, we're just about done. So it's coming off our swift. All right, so now we are going to take our beautifully wound ball of yarn and just simply lift it off of our ball winder. There we go. So I'm just putting my thumbs right here and just sort of lifting it up with my fingers. That seems to do the trick. There we go. So here is the end of our yarn. I'm just going to tuck that right in there. All right, and remember that little yarn tag? What I like to do is go ahead and just sort of fold it up and put it directly into my ball of yarn. And that way I remember exactly what the yarn is, the lot number, all that good stuff. 
So I hope that you are inspired to march into your local yarn store and use both of these devices with confidence. Hey guys, so I just finished filming my very own production shoot here at YouTube Space in LA. I'm part of the Next Up class of 16, and I have a really fun playlist, all of my friends, my experience, gotta check it out, it's in the description below.